What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. And we're going to jump into our run here. One game win streak. How about we do some fun? on down. And there's your seed, R-N-H-O-K-E-2-J. rock and or roll. <clears throat> Yes. 
He apes this up. Sorry, I farted. Milky, what's going on? How we doing today? Hoping all is well. I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Could be better, could be worse. You know how that goes. Here to rock and or roll some Isaac today. And it's the kickoff of the NFL season. Which is why we are stopping at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> Ish. It's not going to be right away at 7. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It's asshole, yes. <laughs> Asshole, you bad instead. I can't ever pronounce that place. I know my name, Borat. I'm from Kazakhstan. Yes. Very nice. Hey, 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 hey. Tone it down. Haha. Mother, mother. Well, first and foremost, we're going to go in here. And... Yeah, I'm happy I did. <coughs> then we get... Scope. What is I... And then we go back and we get all the money. King of the castle. King of the castle. Yes. Two, one, two. My goodness. Oh shit, I think I had a heart in the shot. Don't! That's okay. So now, my poor donation machine has been beaten to crap. Take, it, take everything you can. Keep going. There you go. There. Very nice. <clears throat> hey. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. You watch football, Milky? You should have done donate the next floor for Eagle Chance. Oh, yeah. Ah, well. Well, no, wait, I can't do Angel Chance. I already got Devil Deal. Very nice. 
Oh, penises everywhere. You don't watch football. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I have watched football since I was five years old. And my team has not made the Super Bowl in my lifetime. They did make the Super Bowl in 1969, and they actually won it. That's right, I'm a fan of the New York Jets. Oh, no. Just when you thought the stream could get any worse. Ah, you penis. Right, these guys are pissing me off. No, 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 no. I can't. The Giants are terrible. Well, the Jets are... <coughs> the Jets should do good this year, but the Giants are awful this year. <coughs> it's weird. Like, us upstate New Yorkers, everybody's like, okay, either you are a fan of the Jets and the New York Mets or the New York Yankees and the New York Giants. Well, the second I, I say Jets, right? Oh, Jets, Mets. Like, no. <laughs> Get this. Jets, Giants. And they're all confused. They're like, what? Like, I'm a fan of the San Francisco Giants baseball team. And that confuses the crap out of people. They, they don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, the Giants are awful. The Giants are going to be so bad this year. If they win five games, I'll be surprised. And that's five out of 17 games. They are bad. Like, the Jets could win... If everybody still stays healthy, the Jets could win 11, 12 games and actually make the playoffs. But, I mean... Actually, give me this. this is, is this homing? No, it's not. <clears throat> I'd like to get off this floor Not to see my health Before I die Ow! What was that? Arnold? Yes? Why are you selling Borat right there? I don't know. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. What do we get? Alright, give me this. Give me this. I need a key. And I didn't get a key. That's great. Awesome. <coughs> Good job, little Brimmy. say no keys right you gotta be kidding me <clears throat> girds I've heard some bad things about him um Ironically, I actually tried Feastables for the first time over the weekend, and they were just kind of, eh. I, I, I don't get it. Um, let's give me this. <clears throat> yeah, they're not great. They're just, eh. Very, very bland. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the newest? What's the newest thing?
Ah. Oh my god, what is going on here? What? I don't know if I believe that. This whole thing about... I refuse to call him Ava, because I don't believe in that stuff. Chris? Yeah. Fucking pedo. That's the worst, that's the worst thing I've heard. I don't... Anything with kids is the worst for me. Yeah, yeah. But like anytime I watch a crime show with my wife and it's kids, like a kid gets shot, I'm like, why? Why is it always kids? Like that shooting that happened in Georgia, 14 year old, uh, shoots up his high school. Two 14 year olds killed. What's the fucking point? I have. A niece who's 24, my son is 21, <clears throat> a nephew who's 22, a niece who's 15, 15? Just, yeah, Jesse's 15. Uh, Jay is 11, and Santiago is 5. <coughs> you never mess with kids, man. You never mess with kids. Damn it, get over here. I did not see that door. I'm all now disturbed about this whole conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Ah! Arnold again? Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> no. That's why. All right. I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to lose this extra heart. <clears throat> and great. I hate talking about politics. It's people who are into politics are never happy. I heard Mr. Orange is gonna. Predators. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't. Politics is very opinionated. That's one thing. That, there's uh, there's only two rules on, or there's a handful of rules on this channel. We don't talk politics. We don't talk religion, and we're just nice to each other. That's it. That's all. That's all I've ever asked for. But if you want to come in here. Start talking politics. You know, I'll talk politics. You're, you might not like what I have to say, and frankly, I don't care. But if you want to bring it up, you can. I'll just shut you down. And if you start arguing with me and be like, "Well, you know, you brought this upon yourself," blah blah blah, you're gone. Peaceful. Be nice to each other. <laughs> That's right. Vote for me, Phil Clinton. <laughs> Did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> Wanted to, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, totally did. <laughs> uh, Hillary was mad. <clears throat> I slept on the presidential couch for like three months. Wow. <laughs> Eek. Uh, Sally Eek. I don't debate anyone. I really don't care about politics, beliefs. That's what we were saying. Yeah. 
Well, it, it is, but it is, but it's not. I mean, politics can be related to anything. You know, how do you feel about, you know, this horrible inflation? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah did this, or blah, 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 blah will fix this. No. My hair is getting all in my stupid face. <laughs> Said you have a stupid face. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Bill. <laughs> Haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, banging whores. Oh, wow. Yeah. Had a good time. <laughs> what are you up to? Not much, Bill. Not 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 what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, them whores are they're everywhere here. <clears throat> I don't believe in that term fake news. That's another thing I don't like. Fake fake news. No. 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 Nine times out of ten, it's real. Unless it's like giant asteroid to hit Earth at noon. Even though that was in the news yesterday. Um, it was not giant, by the way. It was only about three meters wide. Exploded before it even came to the ground. Anyway. Now, I don't believe in that term fake news. It's, stupid. it's something that a very stupid man invented. You catch my drift. That term. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's worse than the horror the other night. The, no, Bill, 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 Bill. What? <laughs> Just saying. Tone it down, Bill. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All that cocaine I did before I came in here, Bill. Jeez. Sorry, man. <laughs> like 107 years old, and I can still do this stuff. Hold on, man. I gotta fix my headset here. Then my hair is just getting long enough to where it's like over my forehead and in my face. <clears throat> so annoying. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay. all right. I should have attacked right there. The term is mainly used for people who say blatant lies to trick old people, like on Facebook. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I think it's stupid. But I don't I don't personally I don't believe anything that the that the media tells me. I watch the news every morning to make sure you know fucking Earth isn't going to explode or something. But it's like let's split the well like, forehead forehead uh. Recently had a recall for Wisteria, which killed nine people. You y'all died over a sandwich. I'm sorry to hear that. Whoa, baby. Okay. I mean, I love me a good sandwich, but I ain't gonna die over no sandwich. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah. Our damage went way down though. <clears throat> I can also narrow it down to this. The stuff I only believe in is the weather and when a celebrity dies. Yes, I'm glad I it goes, man. I'm never gonna go there. Yeah, that's true. That's true, too. Hello, I'm in East Bumblefuck Korea. How you doing? It's like, how'd you get to East Bumblefuck Korea? <laughs> <coughs> It's weird, like, I grew up in a really, really small town, and, uh, I grew up 
with this guy, ironically, if you watch The Office, his name is Michael Scott, and it's not, it's not a lie, it's absolute truth, that's his real name. Um, he had, he had a little sister. And I always picked on her because she was short, you know, and Sarah was really, really, always been short. She's like four foot eight. She's not a dwarf or nothing, she's just really, really short, like her mom. So, over the years, you know, we, she and I are friends on Facebook. That woman travels the world, man. I don't know what she does for a living, but holy crap. She went to the fucking Olympics this year and spent the whole time there. She was in um, Thailand uh, in, like, February. I'm just blown. And, and <clears throat> Mike, Mike don't do nothing like that. He's just, a, he's just a dad. That's all he does. But, you know, if, I guess if you get the right job, you can do whatever the hell you want. Like, her and her husband just travel the world. I mean, hey, good for you. <clears throat> I love traveling myself. Ah, penises. Exactly. <clears throat> and I think her husband's only like five foot six. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fix this stupid hair. Hold on. My mother-in-law was four foot ten. That's a that's a fact. And anytime I went to go see her, I'd have to bend down, like literally, get on my knee to hug her. That's that's a hundred percent true. My wife's only five foot two, and I'm almost seven foot tall. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just more normal than this bench here. How tall am I actually? Hmm. <coughs> no, I think I, I think I said how tall I actually am. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. I haven't been measured in a long time, so I might be like, you know, since you get older, you shrink a little bit. I might be like six, two and a half. Jesus. Jesus. Cheese and crackers. Head on down. Oh yeah, I think <clears throat> when we were talking about how like I ran into a guy, the top of my head was like his shoulder, like where his neck began. <clears throat> that dude was legit seven foot tall. He was huge. <laughs> It's, ins it's insane to see in person. I wasn't sure if I was like in the presence of a moose or what, but man. When you see someone that tall, it's not even the fact that they're big. It's the fact that you're just like, holy shit. <clears throat> You know, what's that got to be like? <clears throat> and my poor wife can't get to the top shelf of the pantry. I got to do that. But, damn. <laughs> Guy could get on top of my pantry. 
top. My, my pantry's pretty fucking tall. It's pretty high up there. When I think about it, why'd they build it like that? <coughs> Wait, they literally built it to where... Alright, so we only need super secret. Okay. You, you have to be at least six foot tall to reach the top shelf. The three shelves... Ironically, not really ironically, I keep all my shit <laughs> in, the, in the top. Or if I want something, if I got something that she, that she can't reach. Oh, it's six three is not <clears throat> not that crazy. It's kind, of, it's, it's average. Like I can look pretty much most people eye to eye, but. I couldn't imagine being nine inches taller. Like, put a head on top of my head. You know what I mean? <clears throat> no chance. You ever see those, that, that basketball player? Um, I watched him as a kid. Sean Bradley. He played for the Philadelphia 76ers. He was legit seven feet six inches tall, and he wore the number 76. He's actually, unfortunately, he had a biking accident or something like that. He's paralyzed, which is unbelievably terrible. Think about it. I think the tallest basketball player ever, ever was. It's either Manuk Bull or George Marichon, and both were like seven foot eight. think and you can't you can't really judge pro wrestling pro wrestling like WWE the tallest wrestler I've ever that I know of was um Ale Gante. he was seven seven foot seven um and you have Andre the Giant who was actually Oh yeah, pro wrestlers. Oh yeah, you ever hear of Andre the Giant? Andre the Giant was seven foot. They they called him the the eighth wonder of the world. Um, seven foot four, five hundred pounds. And actually, my son's middle name is Andre after Andre the Giant. He's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Yeah, yeah pro wrestlers are pretty. Are they can be that tall? <clears throat> but like when when when. when L.A. Gante came to WWF, WWE, um, they called him the Giant Gonzalez, and they said he was eight foot tall. They like to overbill. They make, make you bigger. Um, like the Undertaker. They say the Undertaker's seven foot tall. He's six foot nine. No. No. Legitimately, he was seven foot two. Hulk Hogan was six foot eight. To give you an idea. No, 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 no. If you want to talk pro wrestling with me, I've watched wrestling since I was old. I know more about wrestling than I do football. <coughs> and I did pro wrestling. I was a pro wrestler when I was 20. I went all the way to Florida to do pro wrestling. It was the greatest time of my damn life. Fucking loved it. Oh, shit. Oh, run away, Billy. We have a problem here. You see, these spiders are coming to get me. And I'm nearly seven foot tall. <laughs> the Princess Bride didn't even look that crazy tall. It was probably camera angles. He's, he was huge, bro. Huge. We are maybe in trouble here. They have a display um, whenever WWE has a massive pay-per-view, massive show, where it's Andre's hand, and you can put your hand in the uh, in his implant.
And I'm not sure if you know who Brock Lesnar is. Hold on. He, Brock Lesnar put his hand in Andre the Giant's hand. Oh god, I actually do have the picture. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Brock Lesnar, to me, is the scariest fighter in the world. And you, WWE's not fighting. Well, he was in UFC. He won the UFC Heavyweight Championship in his first three fights. Come on, mother, mother. <coughs> yeah, Brock is a monster. I've seen him in person a couple times, and he makes me feel small. We're the same height. Just, yeah, we're about the same height. But just the mass of that man. And how strong he truly is. Like he threw he threw a 420 pound man around the ring. Like he was nothing. In front of me. Uh, another wrestler named Rikishi. And um I'll send you a picture of Rikishi, give you an idea how big this mother mother is. Mind you, this guy is only six foot one. <laughs> All right, so that is exactly that man is six foot one at his peak, four hundred and twenty pounds. And Brock Lesnar threw him around like a baby. Put him on his shoulders and just whoop, threw him across the ring. He did that four times in about a three minute span. I mean, he. <clears throat> There's another wrestler named The Big Show, uh, Paul White. He was He's a legit seven foot tall, and at his biggest, he was 500 pounds. Brock Lesnar threw him around like nothing. <clears throat> I saw Brock Lesnar pick up John Cena and another wrestler named Edge at the same time. Double stacked them. That's about 525 pounds. Nudged one off, hit his finisher, and win a match. It's like you. <coughs> it's weird that I say this, but guys my size just will not make it in wrestling. <laughs> they can. They have in the past. I mean, Rey Mysterio is like five foot five. Where are we going, baby? This way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, Randy Orton just came back. He's six foot five. What's Orton's at 285 pounds right now of just muscle? And he's 40. He's my age. He's 43 years old. <clears throat> and then you have another guy who's 43 years old. Brian Danielson. He's 5'7", maybe. About 185 pounds. And he's a world champion. Different company, not WWE. Go to a wrestling show. <clears throat> Go to a wrestling show, I'm telling you. You're going to see some big boys. Yeah. Yep. There's a wrestler now who unfortunately had a, has a broken neck. Um, he'll never wrestle again. He actually broke his neck on live TV, which is really disgusting to watch. Um, his name is Big E. Just B-I-G-E. Big E. He's only, like, five foot ten, but he's 310 pounds. Because he's that thick. He is one of the... He might be... He's top ten, maybe, strongest I've ever seen in WWE. He's top ten. Just an absolute stud. <coughs> and the crazy part is he's like one of the nicest guys you, you'd ever want to fucking meet. He does commentary now. For like the pre-shows and stuff. And he's always laughing and having a good time. And you see the, you see the muscles through his shirt. <laughs> through his jacket. I love Big E so much. Absolutely love that guy. You know, this runs a disaster, so I don't even care. So see Hush. You got a guy... <laughs> There's a wrestler that just retired. Um, two, three months ago. His name is Sting. And he's jumping off of ladders and shit. And crashing through tables. At 63 years old. Phenomenal shape. Oh, wow. All right, so if we're going to kill ourselves... <laughs> Splendid. <clears throat> oh. I kind of want this. Give me Pyromaniac for 500, Alex. Mm. I do like the tears up. I know The Rock's hardly a wrestler at this point. He's just. He's actually, I think The Rock. How old is The Rock? I think he's younger than I am. But yeah, The Rock, he's huge. Holy crap. He's six foot five. And. Let's see, how old is The Rock? Oh, wow, he's way older than I am. 1972, he was born. He's going to be at WrestleMania this year. Undertaker's 59. Yep. Look up Sting. <clears throat> you want to have a real laugh? Look up Vince McMahon when he was 65. Even though he's a fucking old pervert these days. Alright. So... Give me this. We're probably going to die here, but that's okay. I'll do another run, as long as we keep chatting and all that good shit.
Vince McMahon was on the cover of what was it Men's Fitness at 65 years old. <coughs> <coughs> My God, we have no damage. <coughs> no, shit. Okay. Oh, good God. All right, thank you, Infamy. Big old toast. No problem. Let's try again. Your seed for this run is going to be 2KB9BTCR. I should go send you a picture of a guy that I actually got in the ring with. Hold on. Okay, so this guy, <laughs> us new guys got in the ring where it told me it was a special guest, blah, 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 stuff like that. And that's who we had to quote unquote take down. Take him down. 500 bucks. Take him down. Needless to say, every single one of us failed, and he picked me up with one hand and dropped me over seven feet from the air because he's a legit six foot eight. I fell on my face, I rolled out of the ring, and I was done for the day. I wouldn't call it a fight. <laughs> it was, um, <clears throat> how many of us were there? Six, seven? And they were like, <clears throat> you know, like I said, we got a special guest here. Take him off his feet. I'll give you 500 bucks. Just to see what we've learned. And um, I decided well, I'm, back in the day, I was 215 pounds, six foot three. I'm like, you, you're not gonna stop me. <coughs> I'm gonna jump off the top rope, and I'm gonna knock him off his feet. He caught me, literally, like with his. I don't know how the fuck he did it. His one arm, literally, went around me and grabbed me on my lower back, through my crotch, and he hoisted me up above his shoulders, and I'm just kind of going along with it, whatever, okay, I know how to fall, so I can do this, and then he hoists me in the air, 
with his right hand and I'm looking down I'm like oh my god and he looked at me and laughed he goes you ready kid and I'm like sure and let me go and took a step forward and that was it for me for the day my I, I, I've wrestled or worked with some pretty decent guys I did a four night um, yeah, it was a four how do I say it four night tour uh, with Zach Allen the one legged wrestler and that was fun that was hella fun he beat me every night but we made a lot of money <laughs> So we're at 173. <clears throat> kind of want Mom's box, but I don't want to blow up her mashing yet. <clears throat> La -da 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 -da. Oh, shit. That was dumb. Why'd I do that? <clears throat> Ugh. I'm kind of getting the itch to play. You want? Should we play a different game? a huge guy and get destroyed the map and just show us how crazy those battles are. Yeah, it's it's nuts. It's nuts. Like, I didn't expect it. Like, wrestling is scripted. That's the thing. People people are like, wrestling's fake. No, it's not. It's scripted. The blood you see is real. The things that they do are real. Hang out. Give me give me 30 seconds. You know, actually a minute. We're going to play a new game. Because it's a game I'm itching to play. Hang out. I have Milky. I'll be right back. Refreshing about in one minute. Okay? Yep. Hang out. Be right back. <clears throat> 